Hi everybody, I am Dana Alatavi and here it is. Here's this video that I feel like a lot of people have been wanting. <laughs> so, hi, I'm Dana Alatavi. Yes, I do porn. Yes, I have an OnlyFans. And yes, I live on base. Um, I never directly told anybody here like, hey, hey, I do porn, hey, hey. like, I don't really need to. I am pretty popular <laughs> on those platforms that like, it advertises it by itself. But a lot of people were like, oh my God, that girl, like, is that girl? <laughs> and she lives here on base and she drives a pink Jeep. And like, whenever people ask me, I deny it and I act like clueless and all that. But like right now I don't really care. And this is my confession video. Living on base as an adult content creator is cool, but also it has its downs too. Um, one, I think it's cool to be, well, it's my job. Before I was a marine wife, I was doing adult content. We got married and I'm still doing it because it's just, it's what I like to do. It's my job. I like to do adult content. <laughs> That's just, I don't know. It's my job. Like people wake up and go work at McDonald's or work at the boba store or work at the commissary. I wake up and I like to do that type of stuff. So sorry, like we all have our little cup of tea and I doing adult content cre creations or whatever you want to call it. I doing, I doing <laughs> me doing adult content. I pay taxes, okay? So it's nothing illegal, nothing whatever. But I get it. Most people on this base are white and they're like, oh my God, that's... Oh my God, it's so gross. Like, oh my God, she does porn. Oh my God, she does porn. Like a lot of bitches, like a lot of Dependa, aka like spouses, like they talk so much shit about me. Like I don't know them. I don't know anything about them. But like they talk so much shit about me. It's really hard for me to like not want to just pop them in the fucking face and be like, bitch... What do you do besides stay at home and reproduce and stay at home like a stay at home cat? You know what I mean? Like, it's so hard for me to like not say that because I'm definitely thinking it and I'm definitely seeing it and it's definitely fucking happening. But I have to be a Marine's wife, you know, and I have to, you know, like not say it. But um, yeah, so spouses give me hell. Like they talk so much about me. And it's crazy because I'm the type, like, I can ignore you. Like, you can talk all the crap you want about me. I can definitely ignore you and just go about my business. Like, you don't pay my bills and, like, whatever. Um, but it does get to me sometimes because, yes, that's my job. But I am also, like, 25 years old. Like, I want to make friends. But I cannot be friends with these dependents because these dependents judge a lot. And a lot of the dependents and people who live on the marine base here in Hawaii, they're white and they're from small towns and like they're really conservative. So like this is really bad, you know. Um, and I'm like the queen of being like, all right, cool. Like your opinion doesn't pay my bills or whatever. But like, yeah, like I said, it gets to you like eventually because like you want to go somewhere and just have a conversation with someone and be like, oh, hey, cool. You like that. I like that. Okay, let's hang out. And then someone will tell them, oh, but that bitch does porn. Did you know that? And then it's like, great. That can't be my friend anymore, you know? Um, so what else? What else? Um, I, recently had an I recently had an incident where this active duty Marine private first class thought it was okay to approach me and ask me if I have a Pornhub account. Like, that to me, it's okay. Like, you can, you can ask me those questions, whatever. Like, being in the adult content industry, um, yeah, there's creeps. There's, there's creeps. And I don't like to say creeps because like, hey, if I'm your favorite porn star and I live on base and you know where I live, like, of course, you, you want to like, you know, be like, hey, what's up and all that. But like, it makes me slightly uncomfortable because it's like, I'm a woman and you're a man. And like, if you want, you could easily just like fucking like rape me or assault.
I'm not saying that's something like that he was going to do or whatever, but like, I'm a woman, like you could definitely do that, you know, and like some Marines are kind of creepy and like, you never know their like agenda kind of thing. Right. So, um, being in the adult industry, I've had like countless of cases where men have been like oh my god i watch you like i like you i like your content you're cool you're hot you're sexy they'll give me a hug okay cool like i'll give you a hug actually i don't really like to hug but like if you're going for it i'm not gonna make you feel some sort of way and reject it you know so i'll hug you back okay cool you know and when they hug me like they'll kiss give me a kiss on the cheek they'll grab my ass or they'll think it's okay to like touch a little bit more and like that makes me uncomfortable but it's something that has happened so many times where like I'm used to like men just like a little bit overdoing it because because they just get like a little bit too excited so like if a guy was to come up to me and just like a little overdo it um I wouldn't be like ah what the fuck oh my god ah." I wouldn't do all that because like I just I'm kind of used to it unfortunately um but every single time like it does make me like feel kind of weird you know um I've had a situation where I was outside the commissary and this guy sniffed me. This Marine sniffed me. Like, I was putting stuff in my car and and (laughs) that made me so uncomfortable. I turned around and I was like, are you retarded? And he was like, oh, 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 and made like stupid ass excuses. And I was just like, holy F, like, I don't know, guys, like, I've dealt with a lot of stuff here on Marine Base, being an adult content creator. Okay, and then get this shit. So, I get pulled over by Marine Police. They're called MPs, Military Police, but, like, obviously, I live on Marine Base, so it's, like, Marine Military Police, you know what I mean? So, let's just call them MPs, right? The MPs here on base love and fucking adore me. They do. Um, They pull me over for no reason. They pull me over for reasons. They pull me over because they want to be cool. They pull me over because they want to pull over the porn star on base. They pull me over because they just want to talk to me. They pull me over to to want to fuck me. Like I've had PMO guys from PMO here on Marine Base Hawaii ask me for my snapchat ask me for my number i'm clearly a dependa there's nothing about me that says i'm active duty no i'm a dependa so basically as a porn star here on my base i i lose and i lose and i lose again like i get harassed left and right by a ton of service members who think it's okay to ask me like do you have a porn account do you have an only fans like they ask me that like in the most weirdest places ever and like just weird and then um pmo like fucking wants to fuck me like they get like this kind of hype of pulling me over because they pulled over the porn star you know um i've been invited to poke palace before if you guys know what that is it's where like all the pmos live like I've had a guy be like, hey, um, do you want to, like, come over and blah, blah, like, a PMO guy. I just, I don't know, you guys are kind of gross. Currently, I'm going back and forth with a lieutenant colonel on base. By back and forth, not like that, okay? (laughs) Um, not like that. Um, we're going back and forth. Because he has a... He just hates me. I know. I know. I know. He's from a small town. Like, what I'm doing is, like, the devil, in his opinion. Like, he just hates me. And he wants me off base. And, okay, cool. You're getting me off base. But, like, understand that, like... Dude. (laughs) It's just so ridiculous. It's so ridiculous. Um, Yeah, so... A lieutenant colonel is kicking me off base and it's literally because I feel like it's because I am a porn star whatever you guys want to call me but he'll say otherwise 
So if you purchase my OnlyFans, um, you can ask me questions on my OnlyFans. You can ask me questions on my Instagram. You could say whatever you want to say. Just DM me it, like write to me. Like you could say anything because that's just like online, right? But what I'm talking about is like these motherfuckers will like confidential, like confidently, like, sorry, what I meant is confidently, like come up to me on base and like say something or harass me. And it's like, dude. Like, where is your fucking, not morals, but, like, where is, like, your professionalism, you know? Like, what happened to, like, he's a Marine. He's first to fight. He's the first one to ask for my fucking OnlyFans. <laughs> okay, here's another story time. There's this guy who lives one block away from my house, right? One block. And whenever he drives by my house... He'll make his car like super loud and yeah, it's a sport car. He'll make it super loud because he wants to get my attention. Okay, cool. So he's like doing that every single time and whenever he drives by, he'll be driving and then once he passes my house, he's like, you know, like he wants my fucking attention. So I literally just was like, hi, you know, and he said it, he said hi back and then literally the next night he knocked on my door i opened my door and he kissed me he a full-on tongue kissed me and i was like what the hell <laughs> i should have reported this i didn't report this and then he tried to bribe me to have sex with him for money and um then I found out that his wife is, like, about to give birth, and wow, like, you are an E3, maybe an E4, or maybe you're a Lance Corporal, and you have extra money to fuck a hoe. I'm gonna just say hoe because, like, I'm really for the earth not for the streets or however that goes. <laughs> like, you have extra money for me, but, like, that could be diaper money. That could be, like, I don't know, like, stroller money. Like, but, no, you, you want to offer money for me to sleep with you. Like, uh, as a Marine, you offer money for me to sleep with you. <laughs> That's weird. Y'all are fucking weird. I mean, y'all are ballsy. Anyways, he's trash for doing that. And it kind of sucks because, like, he lives, like, one block away. So, like, whenever I walk my dogs, like, I do see him. And I do see his wife and their child that's a newborn. Like, wow. Well, like, you're disgusting. And um, this is the fun part. I do have evidence. And I am going to show her. But I don't want to show her when I'm living on base because I don't really want anything to do with it so once i move out of base um i want to ew. once i move off base like i'm gonna tell her and with all the evidence and hopefully she takes it really good excuse me she takes it really good because i'm not i'm not i don't know i don't know guys hopefully she takes it good because you know how some bitches are like they'd be like fuck you bitch I'll just be like outside the PX and like staff sergeants will like come up to me, gunnery sergeants will come up to me and shoot their shot with me and like that's fine. Like you can shoot your shot and I'll just be like okay, thank you, thank you. And if you're like a, a lance corporal or like a private first class or private or whatever, I'll just be like thank you, sweetheart. I appreciate it. Bye. You know, like I'm, that's my response, but, like, if you're gonna cross the line, like, overdo it, like, it's just, like, mm. I'm tired. I'm tired. I'm tired. I'm tired. Um, and yeah, like, if you're gonna be, like, okay about it, like, come up to me and, like, say stuff, like, that's fine, but, like, if you overdo it, like, that's when it's, like, a little harassy-ish a little bit. So, I am getting kicked off base. I am getting kicked off base really, really soon. 
And I'm definitely going to miss all the hot Marines in their hot ass fucking camis. Mwah. This is for everybody. Like the privates. Ah, oh, the privates are so hot with like their big ass muscles. Like, yes, infantry. Um, but then like the gunnies and master sergeants, like. But anyways, um, <laughs> I am getting kicked off base because I'm just too problematic for this base. That's what the lieutenant colonel that I'm talking to. He's kicking me off base because I'm too problematic. But like nigga if like if you fucking knew like it's your niggas who really be aiming at me hard and fucking core but anyways yeah i'm gonna miss you guys i'm gonna move somewhere near kaneohe so okay so i just thought about something and i want to tell you guys okay so i have a neighbor i have a neighbor and she lives literally right there right there and her husband got my only fans and she had a problem with it, so she called PMO. And PMO was like, what do you want us to do? Like, we can't do shit about her having OnlyFans. <laughs> like, shit like that. Like, these bitches really be hating. Patrolling. <laughs> um, but yeah, so, like, what I want to say is I get harassed a lot on these. And it's just what comes with my work. If you want to say something to me and, like, you want to do it through my social medias or, you know, platforms where I have my content, you can say anything you want to say to me. I'll reply, even if you're a Marine, and be like, hey, I'm a Marine, I have a crush on you, and blah, blah. Okay, like, still, like, you're Gucci. Like, I will reply back to you. I will still reply to you, like, you know, formally, because, like, you did nothing wrong. But, like, to approach me on base, like, that's just weird, dude. Like... It's not weird. I hate calling guys weird because, like, I get a bunch of weird weirdos, you know? But, like, dude, you're not just a regular degular. Like, you're a Marine. You're a Marine, dude. Like, nigga, what are you fucking doing? <clears throat> what are you fucking doing approaching me in fucking public? Like, you fucking know me. Just kidding. <laughs> I know some of y'all like that. Y'all are weird. But, um,. Yeah. One more thing. Um, yes, I do have like a bunch of adult content or whatever, right? But like a lot of that content, I shot it when I was like 15 pounds lighter. So I'm a lot thinner in those videos than what you see in person. Um, but do understand that I still get paid for that, those videos I made. In like 30 minutes, I made them and like I'm still getting money for them like years later. So yes, I don't look the same. But like, I don't need to look like that. My videos are still getting money. So, oh my God. Yo, like. I'm going to miss you guys. Am I the first porn star on base? You're in Hawaii. Am I the first porn star on base? Mm -hmm. I've been voted off 